seeing some chilly mornings if you don't rely on natural gas to heat your home and instead turn to space heaters. It's time to talk about safety. They're great at warming up drafty spots around the house. Of course, you want one that heats well, but you also want one that's safe. 12 Inner Sides Marilyn Moritz with space heater test results and some recommendations before you buy. On chilly days, a space heater can warm you up, but they can be dangerous. One third of all home heating fires involve space heaters, so safety matters. The safest space heaters turn off automatically if they become too hot or if they're knocked over. Consumer Reports ran a series of safety tests, like will the heater on high setting ignite cotton fabrics? Choosing the right space heater comes down to what you want it to do. You need to consider whether you're just trying to warm yourself up or whether you're trying to heat an entire room. Our tests show that not all models can do both. This mannequin with sensors measures how well a heater spot heats, and this chamber checks how well it warms up the whole room. So here are some recommendations. This Vornado was excellent for spot heating and safety. If you want to heat the whole room, CR recommends this comfort zone. Excellent in fire tests, but it is hotter to the touch than others. It's $50. If you have kids or pets and you're concerned about hotter surfaces, CR says this Lasco bladeless tower is a good alternative for $100. And some safety reminders. Never use extension cords with space heaters. Keep the heater on the floor and at least three feet away from flammables like bedding or drapes. If you're intrigued by those little personal size space heaters, consider this. Consumer Reports said they only did so-so in their spot heating tests. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.